How about them tops, son? All day, SEC boys. You're listening to the Red Out Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome into a Red Out short clip here. Uh, This is from our latest episode. Hope you enjoy. And that's another question somebody threw out. Chances of going uh, to the to the to the NCAA tournament? Yes. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Alan Mansfield. Like, what's the what's the or no? It was Greg Ross. Greg Ross asked that yes. one. And like, yeah. what are the odds of making the tournament? And and the the second part of that was, do we have to like? Do you think we have to win the Conference USA tournament? And yes. absolutely, we do. Um, yeah. There's there is not a scenario. I mean, sure. <laughs> Short of blowing everybody out by forty points and not having another loss on the season yeah. and just like making Sports Center, there's 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 no it's there's no argument for us to get an at large. I mean, I just I just Ooh, don't can see I say it. something real fast. With yeah, that, to tag along that, I did some info. Like uh, when we were actually talking about Western possibly being an at large, which I never really thought we would have much of a shot to begin with, but whatever. Like the most quality wins that we had have kind of turned out to actually not be that good. Yeah. West Virginia, West Virginia is currently is eight and nine, and they're zero and five in the Big Twelve. Arkansas is ten and five; they're currently one and two in the SEC. St. Mary's is eleven and seven, two and one in the Western Conference. And Wisconsin, of course, they were number fifteen in the country, ten and two when we played them. We beat them, and they're now eleven and six and three and three in the Big Ten. We so have ruined their season. A lot of those teams haven't really turned out that well. Yeah, that's just ugh. which sucks. I mean, I there are very few teams that I typically I'm kind of selfish. Like, okay, we beat you, but now I need you to go be good. Yeah. Now I will say with MTSU, I don't care. Like, yeah. They can lose every game, but other than that, straight biddies. Yeah, yep. absolutely. But other than that, I definitely like like Wisconsin. Go win the Big Ten now. Like like I hate you guys because I hate you guys. But go win because it helps it helps yeah. us out in the NET. Which we're still like sitting. Purdue did that for us last year. That was huge. Yeah, that was man, and and that's one of the things that 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 make me a, a little sad is, and we and we've talked about this before is that, and I haven't changed it. It's tournament or bust as far as a for me as far as a good or bad season. Yeah. Uh, there's no middling for me. There's no NIT run for me that makes it a good season. You could go win the NIT, and I'd be like, meh. Didn't, I mean, you had bad You basically season. did last year. I mean, You, you squandered. You yeah. for, I mean, you, you, if, if you don't go to the tournament, I feel like you've squandered a significant level of talent. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, stuff happens. I mean, you can't ever account for it, but it will be, to me, a disappointment and considered a failure if we don't get to the tournament. Now, there's, Anything can happen, dude. I mean, we could go. Well, Charles is coming back next year, so it's not a big deal. That's Bro, what <laughs> what if you get that right, dude? I would... He is starting to slip. He is starting to slip on some of the NBA. I draft saw him at the last three picks and one mock draft. You was, know, I wish we I wish we had a pool on that because now I would be so excited. But honestly, if the young man decides to go. Get if, that money, bro. You know, get the money, bro. You got to do what you got to do. We're Western will still be Western without you. We will and salute we, you, you know, sadly, but we want you to go get your money. We will money. acknowledge him as a pro top, unlike the one who shall not be named. Exactly. So yeah, that, that's another thing us. we were talking Sign about at cross. the end of, after <laughs> the thing. We are on the pace to have our tied for the longest tournament draft streak yeah. in in our history. And that, that just shows, like, this season is huge. I mean... We are two sweet or two Sun Belt tournament runs for being a decade without making the NCAA tournament, and for a program that's had more NCAA appearances than Gonzaga and Florida, that's just sad. Like yep. you've got a fan base that's just craving for this, and that's I think the most disheartening thing about this year. We, you know, we have the talent, don't have the experience, but we have the talent. We had enough pieces coming back, and it's just. It's just been frustrating, and we just got to hope we can put it together between now and, you know, hopefully finish in the top four. We can have a top four seed, and only have to win three games. That's winning four games. I don't trust it. And that's absolutely what you're fighting for right now, right? That's why yeah. I mean the cliche that stands always says, "Like, oh, it's brand new season, conference play." Like, yeah, now you really because you know because of your losses that you're not an at-large team now. So you have to go out there and have a and, and place, like you said, top four in the conference to get that by. 
to give yourself every advantage going into the Conference USA tourney because that's how we get to the dance. That's legit. Now, if we do get to the dance, what do you guys think the seed is? Because the seed line right now, if they make it, with some of the, you know, uh, assuming that all the decent wins don't tank, yeah. it's not as bad as we would have had, like, Sunbelt years. Yeah. I think we're still getting 11 or 12 seed, honestly. I mean, those those names... Yeah, we would definitely be somewhere around there. You see somebody like Murray, who hasn't, you know, they've been super-duper impressive, but they haven't beaten anybody. We have we have names, we have some top 100 Ken Palm wins. Those will stand up at the end of the season. It's just we have to, we have to get there, obviously. Uh, yeah, I mean, so uh, I actually noticed another little question here. So I'm going to clarify this with you all. I have no idea. Does the conference tournament, conference USA tournament winner, automatically gets a bid? Yep. But does anybody else get a bid? Well, they could no. as an at large. Okay, uh, no, but they won't this year. So Ross is saying no. no. No, no one else this year will get one. Like, no one else is good enough. The only way it could really happen, like, even with North Texas, if they were to somehow win out the rest of the conference despite that loss to UTSA and losing the conference title game with only two losses on the season, they would. They, I think they would have to give them an at-large just because they no, only they had two losses. State but the chances of them actually losses. doing that, obviously, are kind of slim. I don't really see that happening. I think they're kind of overrated. That's just me. So, I mean, we're still going to be a one-bid lead as far as I, as far as I think. Mm-hmm. The only team I see with an argument is maybe Old Dominion with that Syracuse win. That's but huge. That's it. Yeah, and that's and that's they again. Have, they have to go the way. Yeah, yeah, and that's again like them not losing the rest of the way. Like that's yeah. just dominating conference and like losing in like the semifinals against the auto bid winner. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I mean ODU's actually. Well, they're twelve and five right now. That's what I'm now, saying. So, so if they finish, if they finish the season, with, let's assume for a moment that they have got their stuff together and they go, you know, like twenty five and five on this season. I, I do think because like that Syracuse win, because of how well they would have done in conference, they they got a shot. But even then, like five losses from again, or, or let's say they finish with six losses and however many wins they get in the tournament. Um, even then. You're talking about a six-loss Conference USA team that's going to have like one or two decent wins. I I still don't even know if that would get them a lot. But to be honest, I'm thinking about it. like I I don't know. So it'd be like a first four. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It would depend on like a, the shifting of the other teams when they're making the call. So okay, let's let's play out this scenario. Western makes the tournament. Is that a satisfactory year for me? Yeah, yes. it's all like getting to yeah. the tournament. Okay, without a doubt. Even if so, let's say it's you know like. Uh, we go in as like an 11 seed and lose, or like a 12 seed, lose in the first round. I'm okay. still satisfied with that. It's all about getting back to the tournament because it's about getting your name on television on that Thursday or Friday. Like, that's so, the thing. Let's see, a 12 plays a 3? 5. A 5. 5, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, I mean that's a winnable game. I mean, an 11 yeah, seed, the 12, 12 seed. the 12 matchup is uh, the one that has the most upsets usually. Yeah, and when I... We were, when we were uh, during the... End of the horn and beginning of the McDonald days, we were 12 seeds both times when we beat uh, Drake and uh, Illinois. So, yeah, just I mean, put that in perspective. Honestly, I would, I'm would. i more willing to put money on Western beating a five seed right now than, you know, I mean, some of these other teams we're going to play like Law Tech. Right, because they get up for it. Yeah, they, they show up for those big games, and it's like, uh. God, if you, like I said way back, like right after the Wisconsin game, like, don't expect that second half performance from the tops every night because they played. I th- honestly think they played above their head. But dang it, you should expect the first half because it was really yeah. good, but not like, you know. Uh, again, it wasn't above what they're capable of. And I was like, God, oh, now, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just mad. I, I, I'm I kind think, of an aggressive I think person. You said they played out of their heads. I think they played out of the other end. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Nah, that's fine. Whatever it takes to win. I don't care if you got to <laughs> take a dump on the court. That's yeah. cool. Well. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think, actually, the rest of the season, as far as that goes, knock on wood, you know, because I know how our luck is going right now, yeah. Yeah, every time, I t- every time I say a team is bad, we lose, so. Yes. So, 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 sorry, guys. I mean, honestly, I think the next two big challenges are North Texas, La Tech, and, is UAB any good? No. I mean, well, Marshall at home, you can't take them from granted. No, no, you're Marshall. right. Well, okay, yeah, we do have Marshall again at home. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, 
I mean, that's Monday. It's well, a five. That's... We played three games in five days. I mean, yeah, that's that's going to stick. Next three is huge. Well, that's that's yeah. it. That's it. Western. It yeah, says. it is. Okay. We got a three game home set. So let's okay. just. What do you guys think? Like the next three. Like what's the record out of the next three? Three and zero, two and one. Like what is it? Uh, okay. Um, I'll go. God. All right. I'll let y'all go first. Jared, what do you think? All right, I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to say two and one wins against FIU and Marshall, but lose to FAU. Ooh, okay. Ross, what do you got? I'm going to do three and zero. Oh. I'm I'm just <laughs> banking on the optimist. <laughs> banking yeah. on the 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 turning of the corner here, being at home, the friendly confines, yada yada yada. Okay. That was what I was going to say, honestly. And I'm usually not super positive because I'd rather be surprised than disappointed. But I ha- at least in sports, uh, but I have to. Say, I I honestly think two and one is expected. Three and zero. Oh, I I want it to happen, so I'm gonna will it. I'm gonna put it in the universe and like will it into existence. So guys, everybody, just think three and zero. Oh, everybody, just do your yeah, little happy just, dance. Yeah, just like lethal weapon. Will it to happen? That's it right. Will happen. Put it into the universe. Uh, um, get it out there. I, I'm gonna go with Jared. I think it's gonna be two and one. I think they're gonna lose FAU. I think they're gonna lose FAU. I think we will get Marshall. I think we're gonna get revenge on Marshall. Um, I actually, I think they'll beat Marshall by five biggins, to quote uh, John Short. Um, but dude, I want to hang a hundred on Marshall. <laughs> I, w- I think I think Western will get Marshall this next time because they're gonna come into this game with some uh, high positive, as one of the strength coaches used to call it at Western, <laughs> and. Um, I think they're going to come in and they're just going to. I think they'll beat them by five because it's going to be one of those games that it's like no let up. Do not let up on these guys, you know. But uh, the rest of the season, it's in the air. Yeah, and I mean, we'll, again, we'll have more to evaluate as yes. the season goes on. Um, I, I think that kind of wraps up the questions that we kind of got. At yes. least we. So first the, off, the main questions. The main questions, yeah, because they were very similar. There were some more specific ones. Yes, I mean, there's uh, some about broadcasting, and there's no way. We honestly, can that. yeah, we're not going to get anything better. Be I, happy with free Facebook streaming. Yes. Seriously, yes. I, to, don't, if you're 90, but, which by the way, old people know how to use Facebook too. For the love of God, they put out they put out the. <laughs> What in the world is that? Dude, y'all need to know. That. His phone went off, and at the exact same time, the little the little smelly good thing shot off. I might have had a heart attack. I'm oh, going to check my drawers right now. Like, that is I'm hilarious. freaked out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, so, my Lord. Um, no. Yeah. Okay, I have lost all train of thought. Yeah, I'm, sc- I'm screwed. You want, you want to get to the... Because I think we've talked about... We've answered the questions. Yes. Thank everybody for, a- for asking yes. the questions. Was this a recurring thing we want to do? We want to keep people involved. We want that engagement. So post more questions for next week. Uh, you know, respond on the Facebook group or on Twitter to like what you thought about how we addressed them, our guesses about how the next three games are going to go, that sort of thing. Um, I like that kind of. I like. I like. I love. I, I plus, do it's, too. plus it's you know easy content, which I always yes. Like. I, well, I mean, not necessarily the content, but I like to get our viewers and our listeners involved because you know, hey, I'd like I like to hear their questions. I like to hear their concerns. And it kind of shows you the pulse of the fan base. That's true. Because we see, hey, obviously you all are really frustrated uh, with the bench, obviously. Yeah. Um, the late game meltdowns and, you know, some of these other little things. Kind of different ones, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, and kind of how the how the season's going to end. So we want to answer those questions, so keep them coming to us. Um, I'll try and post weekly on the uh, Western uh, Basketball uh, page. Um, and I heard, football. Yes, and football. Uh, I didn't really get any questions from football. Uh, I mean, that's understandable, but... People's heads are kind of in basketball yeah. season. I think football is this really happy dream kind of yes. over on the corner Yes, that we haven't really faced reality of it yet. That hype train, once this season's over, man, boy, you thought... Like, people were excited about it, Mike Sanford, myself included, when it was yes. over. But you, you want to talk about a hype train that is coming and will not be derailed. That once it's the season, oh my, oh my God! People are going to forget other sports get played at Western in the in the football off season. Baseball, yeah, baseball. I'm just kidding. I was going to say baseball for me is just one of those sports that it is my favorite sport to drink to. Okay, I'll give you that. But <laughs> the rest of it, I just it's just hard for me to get into baseball. Well, it's it's we've had ten years of not. I mean, when I was in school, or when Devin and I were in school, we made the NCAA tournament. I went, did you yeah. know that game? I remember the ballpark. No, no, I where did we, not. Where I, we demolished UK twenty two to six or something? Yes. So I remember that game. Was that the year we were a top twenty five team? Also, we yeah, may I mean, have been. Yeah. Year, we opened up Bowling Green Ballpark. It's when the bats were still like 
I guess, like, the Wild West, like, when the bats were super live for college baseball, and it was like a home run every, like, two an inning. It was crazy. Like, it was, I think it was, like, 22-14 or something like that at the end of the thing, and, like, sold out, probably two-thirds Western fans, because, you know, the Bowling Green Yokels will still cheer for UK for some stupid reason, but it, it was a lot of fun, and it, since since then, it's never been the same. Yeah, I, well, I remember us being good. I can tell you right now, I want to say we had four or five guys go pro from that squad. Um, there were several that went pro. Well, there were, there were some dudes that came back. Like they like they got drafted later rounds the year before, and then came back to finish their yeah. you know like later seasons to try to improve their draft stock. Well, fun fact: like during those during those glory years, Adam Duvall, you know, was an all star for the Reds. Started out of Western and transferred away because he couldn't see the field, and he ends up being a All American and a you know an MLB All Star going to U of L. I did not know Adam Duvall played at Western. That is an awesome fact. He didn't. He, he didn't see the field. Well, <laughs> I mean, he played he played like five games or something. But yeah, like he couldn't get on the field as a freshman, so he transferred. That's that's crazy. Dude. And he transferred to Louisville. I mean, good baseball school. Oh, Very no doubt. Juco, with Juco in between, but yeah. Oh yeah, it happens. I will say, yeah. everybody should do their field like them because it is. A, I used to like when I was up there going to law school. I would have some time in the afternoons, like in between my afternoon class and the my night class, and I would like go see some of the games, or at least go get you know some snacks and a weed yeah. soda <laughs> uh, before for class. And man, you want to talk about just a fun time? Yeah. It's a gorgeous field. All of them are chair back, like. That's what everybody needs at their stadium. I agree. I mean, well, if baseball yeah. was as good at Louisville as it is, you know, well, if some of these other schools took note of that, I think baseball could be for and for you know forefront of. Well, it's it's it's, it's about it's about fan experience, and exactly. that's what you got to do. The food and drink are cheap. Yeah. The get-in price is really cheap. Well, like the seats, trying, to, trying to get people right. The yeah. seats are nice, like. Yeah. It's I will be corresponding from the Louisville Western game in April from here. Yes, okay. So, attaboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will do a live podcast. <laughs> that'll be fine. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I will let you know that our content will probably droop down in baseball season just because neither one of us are our really. baseball guys. Yeah, Jake made it to T-ball, I think. I played one year there of Pee Wee, and I wanted to quit halfway <laughs> through, but my parents said, you are not a quitter, you will play this out. I had Every minute of it, and not only that, I was garbage. I, I remember so going and watching you play. Yeah, I was so bad. I do remember that. I was so bad, and that's, that's the so problem. Funny. I was the second. I was the best player on my team, <laughs> and that's how bad we were. Wow. We were the second second worst team okay. in our little league. I want to tell you all. See, that's how I was. I played three years of Pee Wee League, and see, I've been small my entire life. Like I, I had there was no hope for me to start with. I'm unathletic, and I'm small. So, I mean, baseball, I had a better chance of, like, basketball or football where I'd literally get killed. <laughs> but I played three years with Pee Wee. I was also, like, one of the worst teams. Like, I think I was on the Giants, and we were, like, there was one year we had, like, two wins, and I think that was it. And I played outfield because that's what you do with the kids that are very good at anything else on this list. So, I just had to play with the daisies. Were, were you the kid looking up at the stars during the... Absolutely, dude. Whenever I saw an airplane or, like, a bird or something... See, he was my least favorite cool. dude on the team. Because when I was little, I was, like... I. Jake I was is hyper competitive. That, yeah, so like I, so. yeah, so like I, when the coach is like, you know, when they're trying to teach you like the, where the play is, like what you're supposed to be doing, like I was super into that. So when Jared over there, it's, it's second base would be like picking his butt. I'd be like, "What are you doing? <laughs> Pay attention." You just reminded me of one of the greatest stories from my baseball career. So, <laughs> With picking a butt. Picking the season. Like, it was the parents versus the kids, just like fun or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I remember I was going to bat. I had a good hit, but uh, I think it got to, like, where the shortstop would be in between second and third. And one of the parents was, like, throwing it to one of the other parents on first base, but it, like, slings and hits me straight in the arm. So, like, I mean, I'm a little kid, so I start, like, crying and everything. And all the parents come up to me, like, Hey, are you okay? Is everything okay? I'm just like, I'm like, oh wait, they're all around me. Okay, so I'm like, see ya. And I just take off and start running around all the bases. And make it all run. That's pretty good. That take advantage true. of that situation. I yeah, will. they never technically got me out, so I mean, it was fair. That's hey, yeah, all Dude, fair, absolutely. Take advantage. So, of it. if you want to picture Jake's baseball prowess, 
remember the commercial from a few years back where the dad throws the ball to the kid? Or the kid throws it to the dad, and he looks completely unathletic, and he does, like, the little skip thing, and oh, it throws dude, it yeah, like a terrible. Scissor. Yeah, and then the dad's <laughs> like, good, now catch. And he throws it back, same way. And I'm like, that's yep. that's Jake. <laughs> yep. Uh, and that's what I told my wife. I was like, what's going to happen if we raise, like, a little jock, like, on accident? I like, told you I will take care of that. That's good. I got because, this. I got this. Because if it's not Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, or some other nerd crap, like, I don't know what we're going to do. Dude, they will have to just because that's yeah. She will have to be. Oh, you got it. We got the cutest. We got the cutest crap. Yes. Right? We have this yes. little this little like penguin Harry Potter thing going on. That the little stuff down. Awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the clip from our latest episode. Subscribe for our weekly Red Out podcast, and always remember, go tops.